Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. So here we have a set A, which is an interval. It is open at 0 and close at 1. So it is a set in RD and we have to prove that it is not compact. I have clearly mentioned it is not compact in RD, this thing we have to prove. But they have mentioned using sequentially compactness. That means there is one standard result. So that result we have to use to prove this. Let me mention the result here. A is compact if and only if A is sequentially compact. Getting? So that means every compact set is sequentially compact and every sequentially compact set is compact. Here we have to prove it is not compact. It means it is enough to prove that it is not sequentially compact. So let me mention that thing here. Therefore, it is enough to prove that enough to prove that A is not sequentially compact in RD. So we have to prove that it is not sequentially compact. Sequentially compact means what? Every sequence should have a convergent subsequence. Then we say the set is sequentially compact. Here we have to prove it is not sequentially compact. That means we have to find a sequence which should not have any convergent subsequence. So let us find such sequence. So I'm going to take xn is equal to 1 by n. So this is our favorite sequence, right? So first term is 1, second is 1 by 2, third is 1 by 3, 1 by 4 and so on. So such sequence we have. Let me draw a simple diagram here, 0, 1. So what is the first term of sequence? 1. The second term is 1 by 2. The third term is 1 by 3, 1 by 4, getting 1 by 5 and so on. 1 by 10 we will have somewhere here and so on. It means all terms of this sequence are gathering around 0. That means this sequence is convergent and converges to 0. So this is a fact we know. So now we have to prove that this sequence Xn has no convergent subsequence in A. Okay, so let me mention now to prove that Xn has no convergent subsequence in A. So this thing we have to prove. So I'm taking any arbitrary subsequence of Xn and we will prove that it is not convergent in A. Okay, let us do that. Let Xn k be any subsequence of Xn. I have taken any arbitrary subsequence of Xn and we have to prove it is not convergent in A, right? But see basically here that xn means 1 by n. Okay, as you can see here, 1 by n. This is a convergent sequence and converges to 0. It converges to 0. See, if the original sequence is convergent, then its subsequence is also convergent and converges to the same point. So xn converges to 0. So that's why its subsequence xnk that is also convergent and converges to the same point. But the fact is that 0 does not lie inside set A. Since set A is an interval which is open at 0, that means A does not contain point 0. A does not contain 0. So therefore, we can declare, therefore, Xnk is not convergent in A. It is not convergent in A since it converges to some point, but that point does not lie in A. So therefore, it is not convergent in A. And see, we had taken any arbitrary subsequence of Xn. So therefore, Xn has no convergent subsequence in A. Therefore, Xn has no convergent subsequence in A. Getting Xn has no convergent subsequence in A. So finally, we got one sequence which has no convergent subsequence in A. Therefore, we can declare A is not sequentially compact. So therefore, A is not sequentially compact. A is not sequentially compact in RD, right? 
but we are familiar with that result compact implies sequentially compact sequentially compact implies compact here we are getting not sequentially compact that means it is not compact so therefore a is not compact in rd so in this way we proved the given set a is not compact in rd with the help of sequentially compactness okay make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you